Hi Pisces, welcome to your new love for September 2019. This is intended for a romantic love reading, but it may represent other areas of like new growth or new opportunity, um, new positivity, positive connections, that sort of thing in your life, such as like new job, new abundance, money, um, career, friendship, family connections, that sort of thing. Um, that being said, it is intended as a romantic love reading, but it may resonate otherwise. Um, and everything else you need to know about this reading is in the connection in the connection box below. Yeah, description box below uh, with the recommend a reader shout out the link to it, which goes to or I should say the link to her, right, which goes to Awakening 101. Much love and support to her. Hopefully you get a chance to stop by, check her out, show her some love and support as well. If you like what she has to say. All right, Pisces. Let's look at your new, new good stuff, <laughs> new love for September 2019. All right, new love for Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Nine of Pentacles, High Priestess, Chariot. This could be Pisces or Cancerian. This could be Cancerian. Ace of Wands. Four of Wands, hi. Nine of Wands. All right. What are we dealing with for Pisces here? Knight of Pentacles. All right. I think you've shut down your feelings on somebody, or I think you're keeping your feelings hidden. Um, there might be a question of how this is going to happen, or if there's an interest on their part. Um, perhaps you're just still thinking about somebody, but your intuition's kicking in, and it's like, you know what, it's just best if you don't go there right now, or if you just kind of stand down. This might, you, it might be you thinking that, okay, this might not be the time for it. Um, could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Pisces or a Taurus. Or, whoopsie, I forgot one. Again with the Pisces, that's King of Cups, could be Pisces. All right, so this, whoever you're, this could be somebody that, I feel like it's somebody you know and it could be somebody you were either involved with romantically or this is a friend, but you're still kind of waiting for this person to come around. But you and you're keeping your feelings close to the chest. Um, you, this is about you remaining silent or not letting your feelings be known, probably because intuition or wisdom or both are kicking in and you're like, nope, I'm not going there. I'm not I'm not letting this person know how I feel. Uh, because I need them to come around to how I feel like they it so th there's some kind of past or history involved here and so this is someone that you are waiting for them to be on the same page with you they need to come around and be on your level what's this high priestess about what's this high priestess about Because this is an issue of self-worth for you. This is this is about you being valued in in connection with this person. Either hoping that, um, not hoping, but kind of keeping your feelings hidden. Because even though you might have feelings for this person, you you feel like okay, they're not gonna, they're not ready to have the kind of stability or connection or give to that the way I would. Like you know, they're not on my same page. So it could be that that's why, you know, the wisdom or intuition is kicking in. It's like, nope, wait, don't do it because this person has to, it has to be worth it for them to show up. It's not about you enticing them. It's not about you doing for them. This is somebody that it's like, until it's worth it for them, I, I am not going to go there because my, it, you know, self-respect is at stake here, which nobody can fault you for that. What's this chariot about? Let's cherry it out. Two of Pentacles. Okay. This is Ace of Wands. 
So if it's not somebody from your past, this is somebody new that you've met, but because of your past experience in a situation, you're keeping your feelings hidden because you've kind of been here before. This person might be very similar or familiar to you. And you're just like, you know what? I'm not this time around, whether it be with the same person or someone new, I'm not going to go out there and rush in and let my feelings be known or make it okay. I'm focusing on myself and my self-worth and it's going to be something where I just am not going to rush in. I'm not, I'm going to prioritize myself, my self-respect, my self-worth before I let it be known how I feel, before I offer open connection. And this is someone that could also be very slow and methodical and want to take their time. So you, you two both might be sizing each other up. So whether this is somebody from your past or somebody new, this is someone that could be wanting to take the slow and methodical approach also because maybe they just got out of something. They might be, they might have just moved here to where you're at. They might have just started, you know, in the job next to you, the, the office building next to you, something like that. This is somebody that is adjacent to you um, that there's some kind of proximity, but it's not immediate. It's like they live in the next town over, they work in the next building over, or they work in the same field, but they're in a different department. There's, there's some kind of connection. They know a family member. They, yeah, so... Um, but there's a familiar, there's a, you, you two have common ground and I can't tell if it's from your past or if it's because you have similar spheres of interest, friends, family that, you know what I mean? Like family, friends, work, friends, there's some kind of common ground here, but there's you kind of keeping things, just playing things close to the vest, keeping things hidden, being kind of. Uh, letting your intuition guide you on this one being not so forthcoming about your feelings or even interest because they need to put forth more of an effort as far as you're concerned you're wanting this person to be more decisive about what they want and about um, being assertive and taking the initiative what's this four of wands about the fool What's this nine of wands about? What's this nine of wands about? The devil, that could be Capricorn. All right, so this is you holding just back and being under yourself because you can see that, you can see that this person new or past is not quite free of if I may be so bold, they're demons yet. This could be somebody that is still working through something, still trying to figure something out, um, still figuring out what they want. And you're wise enough to recognize that it's not for you to rush in and tell them or assure them or, you know what, I really would like them to call me or pursue me more, but it's okay. Um, they're going through something, so I'm just going to go in there and be really available anytime so that they don't have to make such of an effort because I understand they're going... No. No, no, no. That's where me or somebody tackles you and the, do not pick up that phone, do not answer the door, do not, no. Take the car keys, hide the car key. <laughs> this is, this, you're, and like I said, this is about you being wise enough to not do that this time around. And it might have been in the past that you kind of believed that somebody just needed that extra support or, well, I understand, or, you know, that nurturing, no. This time around, you're like, no, it's about self-respect. And if someone's not ready to make the effort to pursue me, then I'm not, I'm not interested in making it okay or easier for them to do that. Then that person and I can't be together because I'm not going to make room for somebody that's not certain, you know, that's not pursuant or doesn't really know what they want. No, I do. And it's not that. There's, you know, it's on, in some instances, it's okay, like, if things are free-flowing and fluid and nobody knows. But it feels like you're above that. It feels like you're, like, you know what you want, 
and it's about self-respect and self-worth for you to be treated in a certain way to be pursued in a way you have standards not that the other people don't um it's a difference of knowing what you want and wanting that versus being in a much more exploratory state being like well i don't know what i want i'm okay with this or with that both are fine but for this reading for the pisces that i'm reading for you want you know what you want the, what you're not going to do and what you're going to do. You're aware of it. You're aware of what you will and won't settle for. You're aware of what you want. Again, both of those situations prior are fine. It's not that people that are more fluid or more restrictive are, oh, they're bad. No. But for what you want, somebody that is on the fence or kind of indecisive is not going to suit for you. It's, it's just not going to fit. So until this person figures out what they want, until they kind of get over their stupid pride, if I may, uh, this is not going to be a connection for you. There might be interest, but you are, it feels like this is based on what you knew about this person, or it, it could be a situation that might be familiar because your past person was like this. So this new person coming in, um, might be the same type of person. You're like, oh, I'm not going there again. I see the writing on the wall. This is the way it was with my last person. I'm not doing the same thing I did last time. This time, I'm gonna stay in my power. I'm gonna be under myself. I'm gonna prize and value self-worth. I'm gonna be in the driver's seat. I'm gonna withhold emotion. Um, and while I might be understanding and compassionate of their situation, it is not for me to fix. It is not for me to give away my self-worth or my, you know, to make it okay for them to be indecisive when it comes to me. I know what I want. I want somebody that knows what they want with me. It's very simple. This is about you not settling for someone that just isn't sure. Well, you will be unsure about somebody else. You're not sure? You don't get to be unsure about me. You're unsure about a car you want or maybe, you know, what you want for dinner, but you're about this? No, 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 no. I don't have time for that. All right. This person, again, they need to decide. They need to just, you know, to be fair, it could be that someone just really doesn't want to be wrong or make a mistake or inconvenience someone or it could be kind of a noble thing to why they're so indecisive. But so, you know, taking that risk or, or putting one foot in front of the other with confidence and being assertive, okay. But it looks like, it, it kind of feels like someone can't get out of their own way and there's a lot of pride and defensiveness and... Someone might be stuck in their, in, in, you know, negative patterns of relating to other people. Somebody might be really um, controlling because they're insecure. Somebody might be holding a grudge over all people because someone hurt them, that sort of thing. It's kind of basic and shallow and superficial and kind of childish. So until they work through that and figure out what they want and what it's going to take to go after it, this is a connection that is just, while well, you might be sympathetic, like, yeah, you know, it really, <laughs> disappointments hurt and suck. I get it. Like, we all have that. But I feel like you're kind of above them. Um, and you don't really, it's not something you're interested in at this time until they sort their business. So it's not that they're a bad person. It's just that they, they need to get over a few things. This, before this connection with you is going to take place or progress. This is someone that kind of needs to grow up a little bit and needs to take more charge in their life. They need to make life happen for themselves instead of kind of waiting around for other people to do it. And then, and there's a lot of security in that, actually. If you, if, I mean, if you wait for someone else to take care of you or, or other people do things for you, you're never responsible for your own happiness. It's always somebody else's fault that you're where you're at, that you don't have what you have, or you know. So this is somebody that needs to get over that fear of being wrong or not being able to do it, like lack of confidence and being insecure and go after it. So this could be somebody that's kind of perfectionistic and very slow to do things because they don't want to make a mistake. They're insecure. They don't want to be wrong. Well, get over it. We all are. Can't stop you from living, you know. This person needs to have confidence and go after what they want confidently. 
But until then, it's just going to be kind of pride and braggadocio, like someone being really arrogant or coming across as arrogant rather than somebody pretty strong and, um, you know, confident. It's going to be, they, they might think they're projecting confidence, but it's actually going to be just look arrogant and kind of like, oh, really? You know? The desire might be there, but it's based on superficial reasons. Like this is someone that wants to appear a certain way because of insecurity or lack of confidence. And we all have that. They need to stop beating themselves up and just try and fail and try again and fail. And then a couple steps forward and then you build on that. Easier said than done, I know. All right. I just don't want you to get wrapped up in this. It's fine to be human. I just don't want it to be to your detriment. Like, I don't want your sympathy or your understanding and your caring um, for this person or their situation to be at your expense. Like, somehow you become this doormat or this hammock for them. And it's like, no. Everybody has to walk on their own. What else for Pisces? Era. So uh, this is about staying grounded, staying in your power, and not being swept away by emotion or this need to make everything okay, not, not letting that sort of maternal nurturing side, um, I hate to say get in the way, but just this is about staying grounded, staying in your own power, relying on your intuition and your connection to, <laughs> to spirit, which is very grounding, to guide you this is about divine intervention speaking um through you and as far as in the form of your intuition i feel like this is more about i feel like this person if it's not somebody from your past coming back this is someone that is very similar to somebody that you had this issue with before and this time around is different and i think that's what the most important thing is right now is that you're doing the same situation differently this situation is very familiar to you but I feel like you're handling it differently, which is as it should be. And I think that speaks loads um, and is what's going to be the new thing this month as far as, hey, look at how far I've come. I'm not doing what I used to before, whereas making it okay for someone to kind of be indifferent about me or indecisive about their connection with me. You are worth so much more than that. <laughs> so good for you for staying within your power and being like, nope, I deserve better. It's very simple. You can have sympathy for someone kind of struggling with something, but it's not for you to go in there and rescue and make okay. So whether it feels, it just feels like the, the thing here is whether this is the same person or a new person, the situation is very similar and yet you're handling it very differently. And it's because you're, of your grounded connection and you staying grounded and your feet are on the ground. And this is practical decision making based on self-worth. The moon this could be Cancerian or Pisces. If you're feeling insecure, don't. Uh, this could be Pisces also right here. But if you're feeling like things are uncertain or if you're, the, this is the counterbalance for that. Because this is uncertainty, um, suspicion, fear of the unknown. You don't need to worry about that because both feet are on the ground, you're grounded and you're letting your intuition guide you. And you're putting yourself first and you're making practical decisions based on self-worth and what's best for you. You don't need this connection with this person. So there, it's not like you're out of your depth and you're relying on the unknown and hoping to, there's none of that here. So don't, if you're afraid that, that don't be, because you're not in any deficit, you're not operating from a deficit and you're not um, putting yourself out there. This is you staying in your power. Conversely, well not conversely, but also this could be speaking to the fact that the reason why you're kind of firmly staying in your area and not putting yourself out there in this situation with this person is because there's simply too much unknown and you might recognize that part of this is from the past, part of this attraction or this interaction with this person. Um, there's that familiarity I mentioned if it isn't somebody from your past, but um, it's 
there's too much that is kind of unclear or murky. We got the devil here also that just doesn't feel safe or secure or right. Like you should be going there. And sometimes this is about the un the subconscious kind of bubbling up. So this could be about whatever you're in, in some signs, they call it the wound, but wherever that issue is that kind of has that draw for you because it's unresolved this could be that this is what this person even though it's a new person they still have that the energies are doing that dance to where it's very familiar for you on an energetic level and it's a subconscious coming back up or subconscious issues so good for you for actually being kind of in the same situation but handling it differently <laughs> that takes a lot of guts and chutzpah and strength so Stay where you're at. Don't do anything. This is for them to work out. And you are over here doing your own thing. Not getting emotionally involved. Staying in your own power. Letting them resolve their stuff. Alright. So, did, yeah, that's kind of... For a new love, uh, not very, you know... But, it could be that this is a new person, but you recognize the signs... Because you're like, oh, this is too familiar, and you're doing it differently, which is what I said before, which is yay. <laughs> yay for growth. Yay for recognition of that. All right. Okay. Lots to unpack there. Um, I th Oh, no. I'm not done yet. Hold on a minute. What else for Pisces? Pisces. All right. Five of Swords. So when it's like this, I go like, okay. Six of Cups. So it is somebody from your past, isn't it? Again, if it's not, <laughs> uh, it's that familiarity that seeming like, oh, I've been here before. It might be a different person, but this same situation has come back around for me again. This time I'm handling it differently. Yay. All right, hold on. With that Five of Swords. Number time. Yay. Okay, yay. Good. I say yay because this is you uh, making decisive cuts. This is you deciding what is best for you, for your best interest, and doing the necessary actions after making that decision. So this is deciding, making some decisions and making some cuts in your life based on self-worth. Involving most likely either someone from your past or past situations that still need to be dealt with. Uh, a remnant of your past. Subconscious issues coming back up for you to deal with and you handling it with um, basically logic and intuition. Doing what's best for you. Keeping your emotions out of it. Keeping the fear out of it. Alright. Good for you Pisces. I hope this was helpful. I hope you feel empowered. Um, and I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.